but I'm still trying to master, you know, the heat of the metal. The temper, the character that heat gives a specific metal like copper, gold, silver. Find the true behavior and nature of each metal you're working with. They hold secrets and they don't give it up easily. And that's part of the fun, you know, not having something just given to you, but you have to have to earn it through honest, sincere work. My stuff were crude compared to his. <laughs> They're traditional. Most of your old Indian jewelries were very, you know, heavy because they were hand-me-downs. He was about seven years old. I put him on my lap and guide his hand and get it to where it's hot enough and the solder will run. When my daughter was born, I knew she needed someone who would bring in and provide for her basic needs. I knew from my youth that silversmithing was an avenue. I continued that until she had her diploma in college. This is where I get my inspiration for all the jewelry. All those quiet moments you have out here, you know, it's easy to get lost in a design. You find it in the base of your feet and you find a piece of pottery there. I'm trying to get into that mode where, you know, that, that guy from the 1700s, 1800s, you know, he's, where was he coming from? It was nothing. I don't fight the silver anymore. I just tap it lightly. But before I was really just bang the hell out of it, you know, I just, a little hammer. You can feel the energy. It's there, some days it's not. You know, you just, we flow with it, you know, fight it. That's how I read it. See, the sun's coming out. When we hit Shiprock, the sun will be on it. 